Now this clear yellow fluid you see here is going directly into the veins of one of my patients via this giving set. So as well as giving the right drug via the right route at the right time to the right patient and the right dose, I also want to give it at the correct rate, the correct rate of administration. And this video is about how we calculate that when we are giving intravenous drips. So how do we know how quickly we are giving our intravenous drips? Well, the equation is a volume to be infused over hours to be given over. So it's bottom into top. So it's volume to be infused divided by hours to be given over. And that will give us mils per hour. Mils per hour. And the other thing we need to know is that clear fluids on most giving sets will give us 20 drops of fluid will equal one milliliter. So 20 drops on the giving set will give us one milliliter if it's clear fluids. Thicker fluids like blood or plasma or protein based preparations, it'll be 15 drops per mil. So given this information, let's just work out some, uh, some real life examples now. So the first question is that we are prescribed 500 mils of infusion fluid and that's to be given over two hours. Now I know you can probably do this in your head but we'll work out a safe consistent way to do it. How many mils per hour and how many drops per minute would that equate to? So the first thing I want to do, we want 500 over two. So it's 500 mils over two hours. And the first step is to convert it into mils per hour. So how many twos are in 500? Well, you can always work it out with the calculator. I suspect it's 250, but that will be five naught naught divided by two equals, yep, 250 mils. So that equals 250 mils. And that's 250 mils of fluid per hour. So it's 250 mils per hour. Now, having worked it out in mils per hour, the next step is to work it out into mils per minute. So if it's 250 mils per hour, we need to work out how many mils per minute. So that sum is going to be 250. And given that there's 60 minutes in an hour, it's going to be divided by 60. So let's see how many that's going to work out at. So 250 there is still in. Divided by 60 equals. Now that comes out at a bit of a strange number. You can probably see that it's 4.16666. So that equals 4.1666 and a few sixes recurring. Um, now, don't worry about that. Just leave that in the calculator. You don't need to write that down. Just leave it there. The calculator will remember that because there's a third step to get to the answer. So first of all, we've converted it to mils per hour. Then we've converted it to mils per minute. So we're now in mils per minute. Let's just write that down so we're sure. Mils per minute. That's mils per minute. Now we need to convert it into drops per minute. And we know from the information that we started off with that clear fluids, and this is a clear fluid we're giving, is 20 drops per mil. So we're going to leave that number in the calculator and we're going to times it by 20 to give us drops per minute. So there's that number times 20 and that's going to equal 83.333 or 83 and a third. And that's uh, drops per minute. What's sometimes abbreviated DPM, drops per minute. So that's the answer. We would set it to, we round it up to the nearest number, of course, in this case, rounding it down, we'd round that down to 83 drops per minute. So that's one fairly simple example. Let's, let's just try maybe one more. 
So here we've prescribed one litre of infusion fluid over eight hours. How many mils per hour and how many drops per minute? Well, let's try this one. So here we've got a, a litre, which is a thousand mils, of course. Got a thousand mils and we're giving that over eight hours. So it's a thousand divided by eight. So one, one, two, three, one thousand divided by eight equals, and that is one, two, five. One, two, five watts, is it? Do you remember? It's one, two, five mils per hour. Mils per hour. Now, the next step is to convert it into mils per minute. So mils per minute would be one, two, five over 60. One, two, five divided by 60. And that equals the one, two, five is still in there. One, two, five divided by six, O oh, equals, and that's one of these strange numbers. It's uh, 2.08333. But don't worry about that. We're just gonna leave it in the calculator. So we've now converted that into mils per minute. The next thing to do is convert it into drops per minute for the final stage. So we times that by 20. And I've just left that number in. Times 20 equals, and that's 41.666. 41 and two thirds in other words, and that's going to be drops per minute. So that's the answer. We could set that at 42 drops per minute. So I think you, we'll do one more. I think you've probably got the hang of this now. But So on this one, question three, question three, prescribed uh, one litre infu infusion fluid over 12 hours. How many mils per hour and how many drops per minute? So this one is, again, it's a litre, so that's 1,000 mils. 1,000 mils, and this time it's over 12 hours. Over 12. So 1,000 divided by 12. One, one, two, three divided by 12 equals, and that equals 83.333, which is 83 and a third. But don't worry about that because we're leaving that in, but remember that's mils per hour. Next we're going to convert it into, what do we convert it into next? Next it's going to be converted into mils per minute, isn't it? So to convert that into mils per minute, it's that number, it's that 83 number, divided by 60, but I've just left it in. 83 divided by 60 equals, and that equals 1.3888, and that's going to be mils per minute. mils per minute. Next we need to divide it, uh, work it out into drops per minute. So we're going to times that number by 20 and that's going to, so it's that number there times 20 equals and that's 27.777 drops per minute. So I think you've got the hang of that now. So convert, first of all, to mils per hour. Secondly, convert to mils per minute, and then convert to drops per minute. And we set that at 28, uh, 28 drops per minute. So uh, that's okay. But let's just suppose we were giving a plasma protein fraction this time, which is uh, thick, it's a more serous fluid. So we want to give 250 mils of plasma protein plasma protein fraction, and we'll probably run that in over one hour. Well, two, five, zero mils per hour. 
miles per hour. And then it's 250 over 60 because we want to convert it into mils per minute. 250 divided by 60 equals. That equals uh, 4, 4.166 and that's going to be mils per minute. And we're going to leave that number in but this one it's a bit different because this is the serous fluid, this is a thicker fluid. So we're going to times that by 15. So that number times 1,5 is going to equal 62, 62.4999. And that's going to be drops per minute. So there's a few worked examples of how many drops we give per minute to give a particular amount of fluid over a particular amount of hours. Seasons with the